when we've done studies looking at athletes, and uh, I'm a sports and exercise medicine doctor, and I often deal with elite level athletes trying to optimize their body composition. And we have a look at studies on these kind of guys and see what happens to them. So there was one that springs to mind, a study on gymnasts. So these guys have to do the, the cross and all that, very strong people. And they found that they went ketogenic, they lost fat, they maintained strength. And the mechanism for that is pretty clear. It's because if you have elevated ketone levels, that actually leads to the ketones being preferentially used for energy and that the leucine, which could also be used, is preserved instead. And preservation of leucine, this is all going to get a wee bit sciencey, so I'll keep it short, but leucine directly stimulates a pathway responsible for muscle <coughs> called the mTOR pathway. And if you can uh, have sustained elevations in your leucine levels, which being in ketosis can maintain that, then that really dampens down the degree of muscle breakdown that you get. So we now know this is uh, totally blowing things out of the water from what we used to understand a few years ago. You can be in a state of negative energy and gain muscle. It used to be thought you want to lose weight, you have to lose muscle at the same time. That's simply not true. If you do it correctly, you have to combine it with resistance training. You have to combine it with the right portions of protein, but you can certainly be in a state where you lose fat and gain muscle.